This sunscreen really made me change my loyalty from the European sunscreens to Japanese sunscreen and here is why. Hello everyone and welcome back. If you are new here, hey, my name is Moama Pharmacist, Toxicologist and Safety Assessor of Personal Care of Product. In this channel, we love to talk about skincare ingredients and their safety. I try my best to provide you with the most up-to-date information so you can use your personal care product with a peace of mind. If that sounds interesting to you, please don't forget to join my community. So today we are going to talk about an amazing affordable sunscreen that made me convert my loyalty from La Roche-Posay line to this. This sunscreen is called Skin Aqua UV Super Moisture Gel. It's fully organic aka chemical sunscreen with SPF 50 plus and PA rating of 4 pluses. It is super and water resistant in a very light lotion formula, so let's talk about it. We will talk about four main points in this video. First, about the UV filter, the supporting ingredient, technologies used, and the feel. Starting with the UV filters, it has four UV filters. One is old generation and the other three are considered newer generation. First one is ethyl hexyl methoxycinamate or octinaxate is an old UVB filter, not very stable, but with the usage of other broad spectrum UV filter, it can help with stability, especially Tinosorb S with this sunscreen also has. The second one is Tinosorb S is a UVB and UVA filter, so broad spectrum, and it is super stable. Like I mentioned before, it is super stable that is usually used to stabilize other UV filters. Unfortunately, it's not available in the US. Please remember Tinosorb S because we will get back to it later. The third UV filter is Uvinol A+, an excellent UVA filter that cover almost all the UVA spectrum. It is approved everywhere except again in the US and Canada as I believe. The last one is Uvinol T150, is super stable UVB filter, one of the most stable of all UVB filter that is approved again everyone except the US. Sorry US folks, you need to catch up. So in total for UV protection, you have two UVB filters, one broad spectrum and one UVA filter providing a very good broad spectrum protection. Now we jump to the supporting ingredients. We have sodium hyaluronate, arginine, hydrolyzed collagen and lastly super hyaluronic acid. Starting with sodium hyaluronate is the salt of hyaluronic acid. It is a humectant that provides moisture to your skin in the stratum conium of course. We also have arginine which is an amino acid that can provide moisture and support for your skin barrier. Then we have hydrolyzed collagen. As we all know collagen is too big to be applied topically but it is a good humectant. Hydrolyzed mean it is chopped up into a smaller pieces. Will that make it uh, penetrate deeper to the skin? In my opinion, I don't think so, but it can hydrate the skin and sure give you the skin a very nice feeling. Lastly, we have super hyaluronic acid, which is again, as we all know, hyaluronic acid is a polymer, which means it's a chain of a repeated unit of hyaluronic acid. Super hyaluronic acid is again chopped up hyaluronic acid, giving it better chance to hydrate deeper layer of your skin due to lower molecular weight. The next part would be technologies used in the sunscreen, which is in my opinion very interesting. I tried to translate the packaging in the sunscreen using Google Translate and here is what I was able to understand. Before jumping in, also I tried to look online for more information, but there was nothing, nothing actually. So the manufacturer of this sunscreen called Rotho, I believe pharmaceutical, which is a Japanese pharma company that also produced Harulabu skincare line, which is super famous in Japan. They use the technology in this sunscreen called Neo Capsule, which is a capsule made up of silica, not silicon because it's not the same thing, and the UV filter Tinosorb S. The usage of silica has many benefits for the sunscreen formulation. It can make the film on your skin more durable. On the packaging, they call the capsule actually durability capsule. Silica also is a porous material that can reflect UV, so it can boost the SPF of your sunscreen by reflecting UV back to a UV filter molecule, protecting your skin with this reflection. Here is the photo they are providing on the packaging that explain the technology. Now with the finish, it is a dream sunscreen, super light with high protection, no fragrance, but contain ethanol, which is can be a problem for some people. For me, it wasn't at all. It is actually one of the few sunscreen that you can over apply and doesn't feel like you are suffocating your skin. So I would really, really recommend this sunscreen. It's nice, high protection for all skin type, especially oily, has a nice technologies, good UV filter, and the most important, 
super super affordable so to get this sunscreen guys you can use my link if you want to support my channel on the shop my platform so you can find all my recommended product and you can click on the product and order it from the from those link it i will have a small commission that actually i will gather all the possible commission to and put it back into the content by getting new product to test for you and give you honest reviews so if that sounds interesting to you please don't forget to check my shop my platform the link will be in the description below and lastly this was my video guys i hope you guys enjoyed it and it was helpful and provide you with the information that you might give it a try for this sunscreen it's really amazing affordable and i think very accessible so give it a try and let me know in the comments if you need me to review another sunscreen or if you try to review uh, to test this one in the comment tell me your experience with it as always see you in the next one and stay safe bye